Hello and welcome to another Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. I'm going to show you about a little known graphic style called additive styles. Typically we think of graphic styles as adding some sort of visual effect like a scribble effect or a 3D effect or a button, something like that. With additive styles, a transform effect is used. So click the library's icon at the bottom of the graphic styles panel and choose additive. If you roll over each style in the panel, you'll see its name, and you can control click on the thumbnail to get a larger preview. But you really don't get the full effect until you actually try it. So this group here already has appearance attributes applied to it. In other words, there are fills. So to use the additive styles, or to apply any other kind of style for that matter, you have to hold down the Option key, or the Alt key on Windows, to apply a new style. So I'm going to use this style called Horizontal Array, and as you can see, it adds a transform effect that simply makes nine copies in a row of the original object. This transform effect now shows up in the Appearance panel, and you can turn it on and off by clicking on the eyeball. You can also click the effect in the Appearance panel to bring up the dialog box to edit the effect, or simply drag it to the trash can icon to delete it. You can use more than one style, again, by holding down the Option key. I'm going to use this Rotate effect, and then I'm going to add a Twist effect to it. So I hold down the Option or Alt key on Windows, and you can see that the object is rotated and twisted. In the Appearance panel, I can turn those on and off, and I can bring up the dialog box to edit the twist. So for example, I'll just click on its name, change the angle. Now my object is twisted more and rotated. You can of course make your own style. Go up to the Effects menu and choose Transform. I'll just plug in some numbers in the dialog box here to make a rotating spiral. And now simply drag that into the Graphic Styles panel or choose the new style icon at the bottom of the panel. Double click it and give it a name if you like. And now you can apply it to any other object. So now you can just Option or Alt click on New Styles to your heart's content, adding more on top of one another. So I added a 3D effect to the spiral. Now I'll add a rotate effect to that. And if your machine can handle it, and if you have the patience, you can add more styles on top of that and come up with some pretty fun designs.